presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, and primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family, so That's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you dare to serve the one you love. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 58, NASDAQ up 125, S&P's up 10 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $14.70, trading at 1974 an ounce. Whoops, move over here. What did you just do to me? Silver, silver's down 56 cents, $22.65 an ounce. Light Sweet Crew taking a hit, down $3.44, $77.37 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note, trading up 15 ticks at 108.02, 30-year up a point and a half at 113.27 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading. Where are you? Oh, man, look at this. Okay, when one of this moves around. There we go. King Dollar is trading up 375 ticks at 105590. Euro is at 106, yen is trading at 150, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, there's no doubt we're getting long in the tooth on this deal. I mean, you're up seven, eight days in a row. But guess what? It's all about interest rate structure in the dollar. So we have out here today, yeah, you're up a buck. You know, bottom line is that you've got inside the higher range now, inside the SPY, you know? So that just says, hey, higher prices are coming at us, man. You're at 436. We'll see how this next stop is. And now the swing points are all laid out at this 438 area. So, you know, you're going to get some flack in here. There's no doubt about it. And we'll see where it shakes out. We're only a Tuesday into the week, so it has plenty of time to blow by that because... The, the, at the 436, right where we are right now, the 438, that's the flak. We'll see how we can, we can make it through that area. And the X100, we go into the Qs, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs always been stronger than the SPY, you know, on, on this rally, no doubt about that. And what you have out here today is a monster move by the Qs, and it has volume behind the move. We've already done 37 million shares. Okay, so this baby just went into its swing, which was the uh, 373.24. We hit 373.50, and we're going to have more volume. Uh, yeah, we are. We're already at 37, so that's going to take the swing point out with volume. That puts game in, man, uh, all the way up to this 387. So this is, this is a powerful move by the NQs. So let's just go look inside the NDX and see what's moving this baby. Ah, I see what's going on. Datadog tw up 27%. That'll, that'll do it. Uh, then you got uh, uh, Global found Foundries. Global Foundries up 5%. You get Zscaler up 4.5%. Adobe's up 3.3%. Those are big numbers, man. Those are big numbers, and that's what's pushing it in there. Notes and bonds. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. Continue to want higher price, lower yield. We take a look at this, you're going to see you're doing 1.6 million contracts here. Um, you know, bottom line is that this wants to jump over the level here, which we did uh, that last Friday. 
which is the 108.16, we're at 108.02. Now the way this is set up is to run all the way up to this 114 area. And right now you're only at 108.02. We go into the dollar, we take a look at, well actually let's go to gold, because gold, you know, gold's down today, but the bottom line is that that Do this. There we go. That um, rejected lower price at a much lower price, with a with line of volume, by the way. So if we take a look at the gold market out here, you're going to see we traded down to the 1962 area. You rejected lower price. You got 197,000 contracts. Well, that 197 is running. There we go. That 197 is running against uh, 270,000 contracts. You know, so that's what you like to see on pullbacks. That's the real bottom line. And then good old King Dollar. So if we take a look at King Dollar, what King Dollar has done, and now this is a classic technical setup. You know, you came down, watch this. This is so cool, it's insane, actually. So we'll see how it shakes out, but bottom line is you came down, you broke the trend line, the uptrend with conviction. Then you build cause, and you go sideways building cause. Then you break down the consolidation. Now what we're doing today, we're trying to get back inside the range. You know, it is inside the higher range right now. Uh, we're at 105, 587. 105, 559 is the number. Now we'll see whether we hold that coming into the close, because that's just going to be uh, intriguing. Because when we opened today, we opened, when we opened, that's when the S&Ps were down. The dollar was up uh, in, in the, you know, 500 tick area. You're at 365. It's making its way up here again, so it's going to be intriguing to see how this shakes out. What we've just done here, it looks to me, let's see what kind of retracement we just did. From the high to the low, we just did a, just over 0.382. So that doesn't tell us too much. That, that's, a, that's a weak retracement, in, even intraday. But there will be movement in the dollar in the next hour, which is going to affect the bottom line of the market. because. Um, it's, it's been tit for tat, no doubt about it, okay? Dollar lower, market higher. Dollar is up, dollar gives it up, market goes higher. Dollar is down, it goes up, market goes lower. I mean, the, the correlation has been pretty tight for some time right now. And it has to do with this interest rate, interest rate differential, because the bottom line is that if the interest rates are going down, it just makes sense that your currency is going to go down also. So. We'll see how the whole thing uh, shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have uh, Tesla's up two bucks. You got Datadog's the big number. Um, you got, uh, let's see, what else is moving? NVIDIA, that's only up a buck. Datadog's the number, that's up $22.5. That, that is one monster move. Actually, let's go look at this for a second. See what we got here. So you're trading 102. Look at, oh, look at that move. It's just filling the gap. Oh, man, what a trip that is. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Normally, we have Basil on. They're swapping positions right now because our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing a workshop at 4. So I have Tim coming up right now, and I have Basil coming up at 3.30. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Ord joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors Bull Bear Ratios, and the Trend Panic Levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. And Dow Dow's up 51. Nasdaq's up 134. S&Ps are up 12. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Now, today's a special day, folks. Our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing a workshop for you at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, this workshop's only $149, and what it's going to be all about is the uh, ratios that every trader should know. Now, these ratios, folks, okay, no one has them. The, the bottom line is you, if you want to understand the ratios, if you want to get the formulas for the ratios, come on over. You've heard Tim and, and myself, we've been on now about uh, six months, I think. It's fast six months, no doubt about that. Tim's going to be talking about the ratios that we're going to be talking about is the TLT slash VIX, the SPY slash VIX, the SPY slash VIX, uh, the weekly slash VIX, the daily uh, VIX in via v, 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 VIX plus my, uh, over, the, over the VIX, the bull bear ratio, and of course the trend panic levels, okay? Great workshop coming up. We have Tim on now because he's going to need a, a break when he's talking for an hour and a half. Uh, bottom line, come over to our website right now. Don't wait to the very end, folks, okay? Because if you're not in Discord already, it only takes us a few minutes to get you in. But if I get, you know, 10 people calling at the same time at 5 or 4, uh, it's a little bit tougher. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, actually, I got something real interesting. Uh, um, uh, chart number one. Okay, I have uh, it. Yeah, it's, it's really unusual here. But this is the weekly uh, American Association of Individual Investors bull bear, bear ratio. Okay. And this is a three day, it's a three week average. And normally, when the market uh, anything below point five or point seven five is bullish for the market, and all those uh, red lines across this, that chart there and the yes. pink areas are all times when that ratio was below point seven five. Now, if you look back, it, it pretty much picked every worthwhile, even minor uh, bottoms it picked out over over the, this chart goes back to 2000, so. I mean, no doubt, now listen, you know. Almost, almost 24 years of information there. It's huge, it's huge. Folks, if you're in your car and you can't see this, remember this program's archived, and remember that when you sign up for Tim's workshop, bottom line, it's gonna be on your page and you go over this over and over again. This is amazing, Tim, man. I mean, you know, right. you might take some heat for four or five days, maybe this one looked like you took heat from, you know, a couple of weeks, but the bottom line is that, yeah, every single time, man, going back 20 years, that's pretty amazing, man. Yeah, it really is. But look what happened. Uh, this this is updated uh, to yesterday. Yes. It's at point five five. Again, it rallied. You know, when the market yeah. rallied into the July high, this ratio got up. They look like about you know two what, plus two whatever. Yes. And the market's gone up 
for a solid week straight up. Every day's been up so far. And this ratio went to uh, 0.55 as of yesterday. How cool is that? What? Oh, my God. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's kind of unusual. That tells me when this is kind of an opposite. When everybody's bullish, this ratio goes up, and that's when you can get highs. And when they're bearish, the ratio goes down. That's when you're easy bottom form. Exactly. The market's been rallying, like I said, you know, was six days in a row now, or seven, actually seven days in a row. And this ratio is down in the buy area. That suggests to me if there is a minor correction, uh, and at some point there might be, but it tells me that in general, this probably rally is going to continue. It's going to continue until we at least get back to neutral level, which is probably up around, you know, one and a half, uh, two. Uh, so this is bodes well, uh, Bodes for the bulls here, uh, even on a short term basis, but especially on a mid term basis. So, yes. Well, you know, how high is high on this rally? I don't know. But there's another statistic, too. If the market's up seven days in a row, and if today's going to be up, it looks like it probably will. Uh, within five days, the market's up 100% of the time. <laughs> so, yeah. so even there's a pullback, and, and, and the average rally. Uh, within the next five days above, if, if the market peaks today, for instance, it'll be higher 100% of the time by 0.7%. I like so, it, man. That's interesting. You know, yeah, this, it's, it's, the, folks, this, 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 this divergence, Tim, we both, this divergence is dynamite, man. This divergence is, yeah. you know, it's a big deal, folks, because what happens is that, now this would be, Tim, this would be showing that there's more fear again in the marketplace, right? I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a sentiment indicator. Right. It's uh, individual investors. So these are what the investors yep. um, uh, are, are saying. And actually, you know, I got my clientele too, and I have a, a few of them are pretty good at at picking bottoms because they're loaded up with puts and stuff. But anyhow, and they've been listening they, they to you for so long. Do. But sure. I do get right. calls from them when uh, not calls, but use the emails from them when. Especially at the real major lows, you know, they're kind of saying that yeah, you, know, you got to be crazy to be long this market type <laughs> thing, and that's usually a good sign for me. So, crazy so, is good, man. <laughs> yeah, crazy is good. The more crazy it, uh, they are, the, the better it is. But so I don't know how you know uh, it could be. It's put some power in, in the market. Yes. I'll put it that way. So, yes, exactly. Uh, it looks pretty good. Cool. We can flip to tar chart two real quick. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. We got to just an update on this chart. This is the uh, Zwag Breath Thrust Indicator. Yes. And in, in a nutshell, it's it's advanced, NYSE advanced issues over total issues, and you take a 10-day average of it. And when you're below 0 0.2, it's kind of like a selling climax. And when it's above 0 0.6, it's a sign of strength. To get this, this indicator triggered, you need to hit below 0 0.4 first. You know, it can go... 0.35 can boy, you know, go 0.25 if it wants to, but once it starts going up, you start counting the number of days, and that 0.4 to 0.6 has to do within 10 day or yeah, within 10 days. Well, we had on this last one, the swag breath thrust indicator got triggered on uh, March 27th, which is about a week and a half ago, and it completed that trigger on uh, last Friday. It did hit. Uh, yep. 0.62 on last Friday, so it only took five days for it to go to 0.4 to 0.6. And to me, that's pretty powerful. Sure. Uh, you know, it takes 10 days on average to do it, uh, which is pretty good. This did in five days, I think, adds, you know, strength. It does. And, it uh, absolutely does. Um, so uh, there's another thing about this ZBT. I'll call it a ZBT because it's hard to say. It's nice. like breath stress indicator. But normally when you see one, it's, it's, it's an area of support. Uh, so if you yeah. notice over uh, in the middle of the chart there, we had three uh, ZBTs. And they all came in pretty close to the same price levels. That's right. And the so first couple just says, didn't go. I know. 4100 is, level is going to be support. Yeah, so. which is pretty cool. And the, the third yeah. chart, Tim? Oh, third chart, real quick. Um, oh, this is a bigger trend here. It kind of looks... Uh, the ZBT is kind of a short-term trend. It gives you a worthwhile pops that may last a month or two. But this is a major, uh, The uh, it's a NYSE McCollin Oscillator Summation Index. When it gets below minus 700, it's like a selling climax. Yep. And so you have to get below, you have to get everybody to dump on the market. 
And once they dump on the market, you have two months to rally back to plus 1,000. Nice. We hit below, uh, we hit below minus 700 on March 27th. You had two months to that. If we get to uh, plus 1,000 on December 27th, that would bode well for 2024. That would predict 2024 is probably going to be an up year. Uh, so when these type of big signals, this is kind of a longer term time frame. This, most signals of this type last a year, if not two, three years. And so, folks, if you want to understand, you know, Tim's going to be going through six ratios today. You want to understand those ratios, come on over, sign up. It's only $149. Tim's going to be doing more workshops so he can bring you into all of these ratios. You can really understand how he looks at the market. Tim, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the workshop at 4 o'clock today. All right, thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 68. The Nasdaq's up 143. S&Ps are up 15. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get The Opening Call. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You get The Opening Call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred and ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and you can get it for one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee. So you know, no matter which one you pick, you can pick six months, you can pick a year, 
Bottom line, if it works for you, stay out to the 28 days. That's great. You can keep it. For some reason, it doesn't. You just cancel it. Bottom line, it doesn't cost you anything. And just getting the newsletter itself, folks, okay? Basil has about, I believe there's 12 archives out there so you can understand how the Chapman wave works and how we ride this wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. And that nice discussion you just had with Tim, he does some terrific work for sure. Yes. And it's just different, which is really cool. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, it's, big time. it's the way you analyze this. Great. Right. So I want you to show you this chart here. This is the Dow. And there's a technique that I, I've used very often. I've used it for years. And it basically looks at a price that goes up and then it starts to come down, and then it makes it lower highs and much lower lows. Okay. And then all of a sudden, it finds some support, and it swings around. It makes either a cup or a V-shaped pattern, and it takes out that uh, upper trend line resistance. It's like an expanding cone. I see that, yeah. And if it does that, it can have a strong move up. It can even go back to the previous high. So this chart here, we're right on the cusp. We're at this moment right here. You can see, and there's a technique that I developed years ago that I call Chapman Wave Inside Track. If it's on the uh, if it's on the, on the way up, I call it the Inside Track Repellent Zone because once it breaks that, it then becomes a Propellent Zone. And if you see it on the way down, in fact, this I, I took it out just to it was getting a little messy. But I would have had the two parallel lines here and this expanding cone. There would have been a Propellent Zone. So Everything about the Dow's low that was made on uh, Friday, the, tw the I think it was the 27th, uh, the 20, let me just double check that. I think it was the uh, 20, I should know by now. Yeah, it was the 27th. Had on balance volume give us a nice turnaround. The only thing that was missing for me was that the VIX index didn't go up into the high 20s and we didn't have a huge sell off on that Monday morning um, to have a nice reversal intraday. That to me would have been a confirmation that, that that could have been the low for this particular part going into the end of the year. Right at this particular point, I think it's a low. I've got a lot of information that says the way the market's moving, the way the different sectors are moving, this could this could hold very well if in the next couple of days any pullback holds about maybe a third of the way down um, on a pullback and then makes a new leg up, that would be very positive. So as I was looking at the market at the end of the day on Monday, I said, you know, I love the action in some of the areas. And I, we've, there are certain stocks that had fabulous moves and we just kept missing them because uh, either they went up too sharply or uh, it just wasn't quite what we were looking at the time. But one of the stocks that I really enjoyed uh, watching the movement move up and down and then the fact that it pulled back on that Friday and then going to the Monday was Microsoft. Uh, it had very good earnings. Uh, it, it fitted. It's a Dow stock. It's an S&P stock. It's a NASDAQ stock. And it's in the XLK, which is the S&P select um, um, tech sector. So we were very lucky. We got this at 338 uh, the nice. very next day, Tuesday. Nice, Basil. Great move. Uh, yeah, and it's trading at 361. But I, what I really wanted to show you is some of the techniques that I use. And this is what, if anyone subscribes to my newsletter or goes to those um, webinars that that you were talking about, uh, re referring to all the techniques that I discuss in detail. One of the things I look at is there's a pattern that we call the dreaded H. One of the reasons I call it the dreaded H is that you get a straight line up, straight line down, you get a cup formation, you get an arch formation. When there's a mix, it's red because when there's a mix and the rally goes to a peak A or a B and then fails and takes out that left side low, that can be very devastating. And we've seen that. I, I'm just using Microsoft. You can see these arches. There's one that turned around. But what's really positive about this particular pattern, and that's another reason why I said if this works out, this could be really good, is that when this H takes out the left side low but immediately turns around and the technical start to improve, if it closes even one bar above the arch high, that says it could go all the way to the left side high. Well, look at this. We, we got in just over there. And look what happened. It made an arch. That's that dreaded H. But this one was successful. 
because the rule of, the, of this H pattern is that within two, maybe three bars, but usually I like it two bars, it must close above that left side low, and then you've got to see the technicals give really good signals. So in the weekly chart, you can see there's this little H pattern, the little arch. Peak D was in the chat wave. We're always looking at peak D. That's the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. Your objective is to get to a peak D. Um, and in this particular instance, look what happened. It closed above the very week we got in. It closed above that arch high. Yes. So that immediately says to me, 366.78 would be the target. But because the monthly chart is in a rising trend, um, there's a chance that it just gets into this inside track on the upside. So it could go just a little bit above it, and then we'll see what happens. That's where I expect some kind of a digestion. So we're at 361. We did it at 362 today. Uh, 366.78, that area is the... Is the uh, then there's another technique that I use where I try to find the midpoint. I call it the plumb line. And that's where the number of bars on the left side from the high to the low should equal the number of bars on the right side. Well, sometimes the pattern is very obvious and sometimes it's not. In this particular instance, I used this little peak right here as my the number of bars on the left side to the number of bars on the right. And that takes you to this week, maybe next week, but on, a, on the usage of my techniques where I use this dash green line, I call it the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge, target resistance line everything lines up that this week we should get really close to the 366 level so there are a whole bunch of techniques that we were using and this is the first time in a long while that um, the i have to wait for the end of the week but so far the macd is cross positive i needed to see that and there's another technique that i have i've had webinars on where the nine period moving average is above the 14 and as long as it's holding, it can keep you in the trade for a long time. So look, it never did. I wonder if I can do this. I'll do this real quickly now. Look, here, here's my chart. I'll go to the weekly. I'm going to get out of that one here. All right. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, there it is. So in this particular instance, if I'm looking at, uh, I'll just click, click. I'll go to Microsoft, click it, and I'll press weekly chart. And you'll see, here's the green moving average, and that green moving average didn't go pink, it's still green. So that's another technique that I like to use, and this one so far is working very nicely. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You see right at the top, newsletters. You hit newsletters, it's right on the second one down, opening call, hit it, and you're off to races. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Time. Tom. You Every too. Tuesday and Stay Thursday, right Tim Moore joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow. Oh, one second. Here we go. Dow Industrials right now is trading up. Uh, where are you, baby? Uh, 93. You get the. Uh, NASDAQ up 151, S&Ps are up 18. Let me show you something here, folks, okay? Because this is how crucial this is to understand just this correlation. And you now my take is that this is a computer correlation, folks, okay? Because it, it's so tight, it's a pretty amazing. You know, I'm always talking about the S&P versus the dollar, the whole ball of wax, but just look at this for a second. So you can see we're at the highs and we're going after them and i suspect we're going to blow them away and the, the reason being we're right at the highs right now now the last time that we were up there we did have more volume so we get another bar that's starting but the bar is starting at the very high now watch when i go over to the dollar and take a look at the dollar you can see that the dollar bottom line it, the dollar only gave gave it up like 45 ticks i mean from when i started the year okay but yet the s p went from 12 up to 17 and a half up, okay? And this dollar right now, bottom line, you know, you can see it. Uh, it looks to me like this thing wants to go to the bottom of the range. And if it goes to the bottom of the range, what you're going to see is that the S&P is going to go over the highs. And the, 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 it's so tight, it's telling me that, you know, the, the large... Computer traders, bottom line, they got a, they got a program like that. Period. Do you know what I mean? One goes in, one goes out. If you, yeah, that's that's how this seems to be set up. Let's go to uh, Ray in Sarasota. Hey, Ray, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. Hey, I got a question for you on uh, Vista Gold VGZ. They come out with earnings tomorrow. Uh, stock's down a bit today. Uh, what are you anticipating is going to happen tomorrow on the earnings? That's part of the question. The other part is. Do you know what their cash position is, and are they going to have to raise funds and issue more shares? So let's take future? let's take a look. The VGZ Vista Gold, the low is thirty two cents, the high seventy five, and the concern here, you know, is that we had gold, we have gold, you know, up three hundred dollars, and Vista Gold can't get off the lows, you know. So I know what you're saying, him. <laughs> it's pretty intense. I can tell you that. Um, what has happened in the in the past, Ray, is this: they you know, haven't issued stock in so long, it's amazing, okay? There's only 120 million shares outstanding. Um, you know, they've always had a decent cash position. They have no debt, you know, so right. we'll, we'll see where this shakes out. They have no debt, you know, they normally have about 15 million, 20 million in cash, which is plenty of cash. They're very frugal. You know, what I don't get out of this, though, there's no doubt that, you know, I mean, if we go look at the gold contract versus this, you know, I know how this trades. Normally, what ends up happening is that it'll be slow to get out of the gate when gold's going up. But I am concerned that, you know, the gold contract just went from, you know, the 18, well, yeah, no, yeah, it went from the seven, what? 1825 to 1975 and this hasn't done a thing so you know I, I don't think I don't think we're gonna get any surprises 
on on the numbers tomorrow, Ray. What I'm worried about is that is that let, let's picture if you and I were Vista, and I know you know Fred owns a lot of shares. The people that own there own a lot of shares. It's like they can't seem to get anyone to partner up with them. I mean, you know, so. You know, it's a speculative buy. That's the bottom line, and I'm, I'm still in it. I can tell you that. So we'll see where it shakes out. I'm, I'm not expecting surprises tomorrow, though. Okay. Are you still of the opinion, though, that they have several million in cash on hand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm most concerned about is that they're going to have to dilute. And no, they won't. Them. They won't dilute. They won't dilute. It's they. I, I go back with this company all the way to Jock, which was even before Mike Richards, and their um, culture is, you know, they've been working on this thing for a long time, and they got the mind for nothing, and they don't spend a lot of money. And, you know, what they've managed to do is that they had a couple other streams that they sold that turned into a very good deal for them because they got quite a bit of, you know, millions for it, you know what I mean? There, there. Right. Let me just see this for a second. One second. See if I can pull this quick. So, the call. Let me see. You know, I haven't looked at the Australia dollar. Uh, is that impacting price here as well this year? Um, it it shouldn't be because let's see. Let's let's take a look at it for a second. I mean, it's really a, a U.S. company, but yeah. No, no, I'm with you. So the U.S. dollar is still at 64, which is a great deal for them. Do you know what I mean? 64 to the dollar. I think it has to do with the aspect of what does happen is this. When you're in the exploration phase, you don't have the risk, okay? Because what happens is that you don't have the shovel on the ground. What they're trying to do right now is get a partner that will come up with the money, and we know that that's when, you know, things can get really dicey, folks, because, you know, in order to build a mine, you know, the bottom line is that you know the, a small mine is going to cost you three to four hundred million. So I don't think there's that many miners out there at this particular point. You know, Newmont's not in good shape. You know, gold. I mean, uh, Barrick is you know not bad, but not compared to the last run. I mean, the 2011 run, both of those equities were a lot higher. Do you know what I'm saying? So both of those, you know, maybe they're too big. You know, they're in, they're in the way that I'm looking at. They're still in a great jurisdiction. What has happened is that Mexico is a blowout now, meaning it's not great. But we want to hear, and in fact, I'll email Fred right now to get him on. We want to hear what he has to say, because I want to hear what he has to, you know. I mean, it's pretty frustrating that the stock can't move when, you know, as I said, the rest of them have moved. You know, right. so. Yeah. All right, Tom. Okay, Take man. Your input. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. That was Vista Gold that we were talking about, folks. And, and the, 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 to cut to the chase, what you have with Vista Gold is this. They have a huge mine, one of the biggest mines in Australia. That being said, and the work has been done, but that being said, what ends up happening is that they, they're looking for a partner, and they're looking for a partner that has deep pockets in order to build that mine. And... You know, at this particular point, these miners, um, you know, there's been, there's been a couple takeovers. And those takeovers, however, were just basically at the price or slightly higher than the price. So that's telling me that the gold price has to go higher. We'll, we'll, know, we'll know a lot more um, when we do hear what uh, Fred has to say, Fred Ernest this is, tomorrow. You know, because as long as, uh, as Ray from Sarasota, you know, was talking about is that, okay, what, what is the cash position? And my take is the cash position is still going to be pretty good. They, they know what they're doing with cash. And um, most of the money has already been spent over the, now, when I say being spent, this, this money's been spent over 14 years. So, I mean, over 20 years. Pretty amazing. Now, don't forget about Tim Ward's uh, workshop, folks. This will be about the last time you get to sign up. It's going to start in 10 minutes. So if you want to basically get in that workshop, come over to our website at TFNN. Hit, hit that button. Jacob will answer the phone. We'll get you in there. Dow's up 78. Nasdaq's up 136. S&P's are up 14. We're coming right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. If you want to see this correlation of the S&P that we were talking about, how wild it is. So we were dealing with 33,000 contracts at the high, right? We was making the new bar when we were talking about this. The new bar only did 23,000 versus 33. Gives it up, right? Now watch. <laughs> this is crazy. So as it's giving it up, well, you know, we don't know what the chicken, my, my take is that the chicken is the uh, dollar. But what ends up happening, we only go up 29 ticks and the S&P comes down 10 ticks. It's that dramatic, folks. Just that little pop. Okay, we'll see where the rest of this shakes out, but uh, the correlation is there and it's there in spades. It, and it's there all day. And that's, that's the real bottom line. We go over, back over to that S&P and let's take a look at it. So now you're only up eight bucks versus 18. And you can see it didn't have enough volume at the highs. Now what's, what's gonna happen here is that, you know, you get volume coming in here for sure. Now the kicker is, this is what gets, gets kind of cool, is that it can't break the swing. You know, I don't think we have enough time that it's gonna break the swing, but you know, we can break the swing after, after the, you know, broad market closes. You can see the expansion of volume right there. They're selling that down. That being said, you're coming into, well, what is that? That's 29, yeah, it's 29,000. We've done more than that. Now see what ends up happening, if this can't break the swing, that's actually positive also. Because you're coming down with volume. The low for the day out here was the 440, uh, 44, uh, 4366. No, that was last night. Okay, let's go. Let's go to this one. That one there is four. 
four, yeah, four three eight five. If it can't break that four three eight five, that's going to be a heads up for tomorrow. Well, so that's how this shakes out because you're coming down with force. It is a consolidation. Bottom line, when you can't get into the swing and can't break the swing, that's telling you that the buyers are set up right down at those levels. Don't forget about our man, Mr. Tim Ward. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks.